Hi there, my name is Michael and this presentation today aims to address the modes, content and style of documentary and the relationship and influence they have on each other regarding Irregulars, an award-winning documentary by Fabio Palmieri. This 2015 short film follows the harrowing tale of Ghanaian refugee Cyril Kabul through voiceover as he gives a first-hand retelling of his punishing escape from war and death. Throughout the film, we are given a visual journey through a mannequin factory, in which the mannequins are staged to closely mimic the story being told by Kabul as he manages to escape the war. His frightened voice tells of the near-death ordeal ordeals he encountered whilst travelling across countries underneath a car, spending days in a coffin to leave behind his life and identity, and then to become nothing but a series of numbers, to become anonymous. Palmieri's content makes a point of underlying the gruesome and rigorous trek that thousands of refugees face just to have the chance to live the lives we do, only for us to treat them with prejudice and cruelty when they finally find this peace. During the film, we are given reason to label the piece as solely observational, however we are shown glimpses to suggest a poetic nature embedded in the film. Palmieri is completely detached from this film, instead deciding to take a back seat as we hear nothing but the truthful and compelling tale told by the 20-year-old Kabul, the trademark of an observational documentary. In a sense, it also goes further into the observational, as we are left not knowing who or what Cyril Kabul looks like, as he himself doesn't take part in a physical role in the film. All we are left to observe is the decidedly precise placement of the many, many mannequins, which are quite notably arranged to tell the visual memoir of Kabul. It is this montage of mannequin-driven reenactments, partnered with Palmieri's unobstructed view of the documentary, that we can safely assume this short film has its roots in the observational mode. However, the nature of poetic documentaries is to express large-scale concepts through ambiguously expressive and alternative forms of knowledge. It is Palmieri's decision to follow the mannequins as a source for visual aid, rather than using real people or Kabul himself to perform a reenactment, that we can see small hints of poetic styling. While this one man's story doesn't cover the large scale concepts poetic documentaries are usually associated with, the film makes note of the many voyages across oceans and land to seek refuge, stating, each year 400,000 people from Africa, Asia and the Middle East try to enter Europe. They flee from war, persecution and poverty. This provides an acute insight into the poetic nature also ingrained in Irregulars. Fabio Palmieri is relatively new onto the scene of short films and documentaries, with Irregulars being his first notable piece, although his style is well and truly prominent from his early work. His only other credited film is Blindly Dancing, released in 2017, which follows a couple who set out to learn how to dance in the dark, completely visionless, with the tagline, Imperfection is Beauty. It is across these two films where his unique and elegant style is found, finding emotion in places you wouldn't expect. Irregulars doesn't capture a human face, our main source for emotive behaviour, throughout the entire piece, and yet we still have an emotional connection with the film and the story being told. It is the story itself that provides the emotion, in the sense that we get that someone foreign, in other words completely alone and destitute, has gone through so much without a shred of help. Only it compiles this feeling. This can be found in Blindly Dancing as well as we find an emotional connection through the movement and dance featured in the film. This is the main crux of Fabio Palmieri's style, directing away from the norm to find creative ways to display emotion and to tell a story. This goes hand in hand with the visual aspect of his style portrayed in Irregulars, the mannequins. Instead of displaying the fake emotion on actors' faces while they reenact Kabul's life, he chooses to stage several mannequins to display the events as closely as possible, creating a strong sense of detachment. This short clip can provide a first-hand insight. There were hundreds, thousands of people like me in a line awaiting their turn. Men, women, children. This combination of emotion without emoting 
and his clever use of the mannequins to guide this is Palmieri style to a T. Now, as I have already briefly touched on, the content of the film, the mode and the portrayed, and Palmieri style all go hand in hand. The content follows a truly horrific series of events that make us really feel for Kabul, a man who speaks with emotion and pain in his voice. This interplays with the modes depicted, observational and poetic. Observational documentary is often referred to as cinema verite, which literally means truthful cinema. This combination of capturing the truthful tale of Kabul, along with Palmieri not intruding on the film, in true observational style, both allow the audience to focus on the story and the emotion being displayed, rather than allowing outside factors to taint the truth or stage the reality of the story. The poetic essence in the documentary once again creates a relationship with the other analysed criteria. The use of imagery through mannequins instead of people and the irregular music that can be found in the backdrop all accumulate the mood and the tone of this film as poetic documentaries should. This mood being once again one of emotion. Finally, we can link the content and modes of the film to Palmieri's style. The unique portrayal of Kabul's story, to not show Kabul at all, influences the audience to listen to the story and find the emotion in his voice. This follows Palmieri's style of finding emotion in unexpected places and can once more associate with the relationship between the modes, content and style of the 2015 short documentary Irregulars. Thank you.